good morning. It is uh, Friday, so I don't know what date, but Nick is in the background all pissed off because it's morning time. It's all mad. We're going to the gas station to get her some caffeine to fix that problem. I'm gonna get a monster. And it's about 10.30 in the morning right now. And at 12 o'clock, I'm doing a clothing launch, launching some mint shirts and the Probably Never Satisfied black hoodies as well as some new make an imprint on the game. I've been here. Hoodies. No, we're crossing the street right now. It's not dangerous. Shout out to you guys if you recognize this street. We are on the intersection of Lexington and 1092. I'm vlogging while crossing the street. It's not dangerous at all. But sorry, I'm trying to block the mic. Rock my Gymshark shirt and check in with y'all when we get to the gas station. They have it, guys. They have the turbo can. That's what I'm getting. One more can. I call it a turbo can. Here at Chipotle, Mexican Grill in the background, as you can see, already shipped out all of today's orders. It's only 3:30, and uh, everything from 12 to 3:30 was already sent to the post office. So you guys will be getting it by Monday, probably. Um, but here in my car, and it was so funny. Nikki and I this morning. We were like, man, you know, and I've really, I've thought about it multiple times. I was like, man, my car doesn't have cup holders. You know, I don't have, I don't have any cup holders. How am I supposed to drink anything? And I was like, oh, maybe, you know, they don't want you drinking in like these, in this car, you know, or whatever. And uh, this is like my center console, you know, so you got this, that opens up, little thing, stick shift, and your plug over here. And so she like Googled it. She was like, I don't M4s have cup holders. And then it's like, you have to take, this is actually a tray. I thought it was just decoration. So you like, pop that out and you got cup holders so pretty cool I thought like this little area was cup holders in the Nissan you only like the Z you only have uh, that for cup holders so I just assumed like oh, I guess not all cars have cup holders I'm gonna go in and get myself a burrito double wrapped mm -hmm. double chicken triple rice Absolutely massive burrito. Here at Live Time, about to get a workout in. Uh, it's Saturday morning, it's raining outside, and uh, fast to work out, so didn't eat anything, just getting this workout in really quick, and then Nikki and I are headed to Austin uh, to help her brother do some moving, and also she needs to pick up her iPhone, why is it wet over here? Her iPhone 6, so uh, her brother ordered it, they're switching to AT&T from Sprint and all this stuff, so probably gonna go with her, um, not 100% sure yet, but kind of looking like it, so that's why we came, got getting this workout done, and then we're gonna see what time it is and stuff, but um, outfit of the day, got my Gymshark Element t-shirt, brand new t-shirt on, as you can see, got my Gymshark uh, athlete pants, and my blue Nike fly nets, CGF blue, because that's the actual color for Nike, and um, back and bicep workout today. I took an off day yesterday, which my split actually called for. I know I have an issue of actually taking the off days when I'm supposed to, so really, really trying since I got back from Vegas, getting back in the routine, taking those off days when I say I'm going to take them as opposed to being like, oh, you know what, I feel really good, so I'm going to work out anyway, because uh, on the autofocus, even though that may be good sometimes, um, you're going to progress more and more if you actually take those scheduled off days because you work really hard, you back off, work really hard, back off, work really hard, back off, uh, etc. versus working really hard and kind of starting fatigue, 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 taking off day, working hard, fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. So at least going to see how I do taking these off days. Um, so that's the game plan. No wonder it's wet. It's really wet. Here's like a little arm check. Probably thumbnail. Try to sit this one. I'm still feeling decently lean. Uh, gonna start my cut in a few months. Uh, what, what is it? 176 this morning. 176 pounds body weight. 
and probably gonna go to about 180 or so. And it's not really about the weight, it's just about the time you're still gaining. Um, but pretty much in the last year, so my last competition it was November 2nd or November 1st of last year. So I started my bulk like November 3rd. Um, the only like break I took was I did a mini summer shredding series. So it was about five or six weeks uh, back in, I wanna say April, and that was for body power. So with the exception of that like five or six weeks, I've been in a surplus this entire year. So I uh, excited to really cut down and see what my body has produced. With that said, like I said, let's go work out. All right, what's going on family? Back with the commentary, my YouTube family, my YouTube familia. Uh, doing back and biceps today, and I hate when I commentate and I'm like, back in the gym with back and biceps, but uh, back, back, back. Anyway, uh, started out with 50 pull-ups. So this is kind of like a staple I've been doing, guys. 50 reps, uh, doing about five sets of 10. It really is an active warm-up. Get my lats firing, get them warmed up and working. I love these shoes. These are my favorite pair of shoes that I have, um, and they match these pants like awesomely. But check out that width, guys. The Cobra back is coming in. Um, I really think that my back has progressed over this bulk, especially this past year. Uh, really, I feel like especially this, these past like over summer to be honest with you guys just watching footage and stuff i can feel uh you know like when i used to do a lat spread uh, about a year and a half or two ago there was like nothing there it was kind of like my lats were not non-existent you know but now i can lat spread i can uh i just feel like more muscle under so freaking awesome stoked to see what they look like and uh really gonna keep growing them over the next two months or so what is it now it's like september 27th today so september october november probably about two more months of a surplus for me and that'll be a little bit over a year uh, like i said earlier in this video majority of the year in a surplus not the entire year straight uh there have been a, there's one little summer shredding mini series about five weeks and uh maybe like one more time where i just did it like a week of cutting down just because i don't like letting myself get too bloated uh to be honest with you guys I'll, I'll gain you know see steady gains steady gains steady gains but then if i ever like binge or something or go get mexican food and just go all out to where i'm like sick i'll hold like freaking i'll go from like 175 to like 182 in the morning and so i kind of take a few days and drop that water weight and then get back in the surplus but uh anyway super excited here doing some C to cable rows. These are another staple that I've been doing and that I'm gonna keep doing because I feel like using this cable machine, um, I have this at my gym as well and I, man, it sucks guys. I really haven't been at my gym that much this week simply because I got back from Vegas and so much work has piled up. You know, I had this clothing launch. I was there to ship everything out, got a workout in. Uh, I did a chest and tricep, sorry, that was my phone. Got a chest and tricep in earlier this week, but gonna be back at my gym tomorrow and for the rest of the week and be there a lot. So um, about the new space, I'm super excited because we found the spot, guys. I freaking finally found it. Um, it's looking like December 1st is going to be the move-in date. So um, it's actually in construction right now. So it's a brand new building and I'm going to actually uh, probably tomorrow go over there if it's a nice day and show you guys like the the process of it being built. I want to stop by, you know, maybe once a week and kind of film it, show you guys the progression. So that way in a few months, it should be done honestly mid-November, um, but I'm going to move in December 1st. I want to show you all the progression of the building itself as well as creating the offices and putting all the equipment in there and uh, just having like a little studio in there, you know, the CG headquarters. So super pumped about that. And other than that, looking big here. Well, yeah, I keep like complimenting myself because I'm not meaning to compliment myself, but um, definitely just feel you know solid. I'm solid 176, 177 pounds right now, and um, I just feel a lot leaner. You guys can you know see the little tricep cuts there. A lot leaner than I did previous years at the same body weight. So uh, that's definitely a good sign when you're bulking up. But here, using lighter weight. This is at the very end of my workout. Um, to be honest, I was kind of stuck an extra 45 minutes or so waiting on Nikki to do cardio. So did a little bit more volume than I normally would have just, you know, so a few lightweight sets, you're going to see another kind of like quote unquote upper back exercise. My boy over here, subscriber, shout out to you, man. He's actually been, uh, I've seen him so many times doing all this calisthenic stuff and uh, I'd never knew who's a subscriber. He's dude, I've been watching your channel. I didn't know it was actually you. I was like, no way you could go to my gym. And I was like, you know what, man, show us what you got. So I'd put him on camera, let him show some of his, uh, calisthenic muscle ups and all that cool stuff. He's only 17 years old. 
and you guys can see he got a pretty solid frame on him. His shoulders freaking shredded over here. Um, body weight stuff, incredible. So really cool. Um, I definitely support everyone, whether they're doing bodybuilding training or calisthenic stuff or powerlifting, whatever they're doing, as long as they're putting effort in and becoming a better version of themselves, I completely support you. Another subscriber, my boy Kevin. <laughs> um, whenever I go to this gym, guys, it's so cool because there's a lot of people that uh, watch the videos and follow and everything. So I get to kind of chat it up with them. But uh, he was actually, I was doing some abs over here. He was doing this upper back uh, standing row. So I wanted to hop in. I was like, yeah, let's hop in, man. Do a few sets. But that was the last exercise of the workout. High volume. Enjoyed it. Got to uh, hang out with some subscribers. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. ChristianEasyMind.com for online training and apparel. Gymshark.com for the awesome new t-shirt. Thank you guys. Y'all are my support system. Wouldn't be able to do it without you all. You all. You are. You are. What the hell. Um, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.